I already gave the time for that uh, December 23 for you guys. And then last week, no, nagkaroon naman ng uh, mga trangkaso alas lahat, so including me. Okay, uh, I was not able to meet you guys on the same time, no? Okay, kaya yung 4 and 5 natin was already recorded and was already uploaded in your MS Teams. And um, checking it today, no, medyo konti pa lang yung nag-submit nung quiz natin, no? Hindi siya recorded lang basta-basta. Uh, I already uploaded a quiz for that, okay? And the quiz is already uploaded for both channel, for both 4 and 5, no? Okay, so I would I, I I would like to remind everyone that uh, we only have uh, one remaining meeting, okay, which is the module seven, and then after which yung finals yun na. So uh, after which computation and grade. So if ever na medyo kulang yung naibigay natin na, na grades, so there might be probability of the deduction of the grade. So. Uh, Please, no, uh, paki paki tignan natin yung account natin. What are the dues, no? I think yung due natin dito is on uh, next week, which is January 22. So hinabaan ko na yung panahon uh, para para makapag uh, create tayo nung nung activity na to. And this is due until next week, no? So na up to last week so you have 3 weeks to do this so nag nag naglaps na yung isang linggo then you have this week and then you have another week so i hope yung dalawang yon is ma-accomplish natin up to kasama yung ngayon so okay so our topic today is evaluating and controlling technology so this is a short topic okay and some of the uh uh some of the terminologies was, uh, is already familiar to you huh? Okay. So again, no? Um yung mga topic natin dito and the questions is inside our PowerPoint presentation, which means lahat ng sagot halos makikita dito sa PowerPoint presentation and some of the answers are really self-explanatory, no? Uh I I'm I am also recording this uh uh session so that uh later on I could upload it in our MS team so that yung mga iba na ma-disconnect and some of which na hindi makakaten will still have a chance to view the discussion today, no? Okay. So uh, with that, with that reminders, no, uh, siguro clear naman that we have to do it uh, until uh, January 22. Paki type nga clear if we understood kung ano yung sinabi ko kanina with your okay. Just just be reminded no that that on the chat box no this is the na the download ko to and this is transcribed and sent to my email so lahat ng mga participation nyo is also recorded so i want everyone to to participate on the chat box no so i am not uh, hindi ko na nire-required na i-open natin yung mga camera but then uh, i would like you to participate on the chat box okay so let's start our topic so this is our module of objectives to, to recognize the need for and engage in planning self-learning and improving performance as the foundation for continuing professional development and also to analyze the local and global impact of computing information or IT on individuals, organizations, and even society. So ano ba? No? Okay, ano ba yung impact? Okay technology how are you going to control and evaluate technology so yun yung yung topic natin ngayon no? so this covers information knowledge and judgment also computers and community digital divide so maybe we are new with uh, the word digital divide no okay usually digital devices yung mga naririnig natin so what is digital divide later on so evaluation of impacts of computer technology and making decision about technology. Okay. So let's start with information, knowledge, and judgment. Okay. So let's say evaluation through web or how are you going? Paano nyo ine-evaluate yung mga information na nakikita natin in different websites? Like, for example, my assignment tayo and we want to 
to have that assignment, ginugugal natin, how are you going to, paano natin in-evaluate whether, whether uh, that particular information is legit? Sige nga, pakitype yung answers natin. How, how, how do you evaluate uh, information that is posted on the websites? I'll give you two minutes. Pakitype yung answers natin. Okay, I'm waiting for the answers, ha? Okay, may sumagot dito, reliability of the information. Okay, so again, no, for those students, no, I, I want you to answer this question. How do you evaluate information on the web? No? Paano natin in-evaluate yung mga information na nakikita natin on different websites? No? So I want you to just drop your answers from the chat box and later on, we'll go along it one by one. Okay, so here, no? Meron tayo tinatawag na expert information or wisdom of the crowd. Ano bang pinagkaiba nila dito? When we say expert information, it, this is information given by experts. These are information given by those individuals or professionals that study that particular science. No? Yun yung expert information. How about wisdom of the crowd? Wisdom of the crowd is like, which is uh, parang, parang sinasabi natin dito na Sino ang mag, nagsasabi na ma, mas madami yung ganito? Okay? Let's say for example, okay? Uh, let me give you a scenario. Let's say for example, you have you have a device, no? Meron kang iPhone. Okay? Meron kang iPhone. Okay? Expert will say that this iPhone is ganito and this one was, is ganyan, no? So expert will say that the camera of the iPhone is not that reliable. The, the RAM of the iPhone is that, that reliable and then so on. Later on, the SIM slot would be eliminated. So expert would say. And then comes the wisdom of the crowd. No? Makikita mo, no? in, in a particular forum, na ang dami-dami nilang sinasabi na maganda ang iPhone, hindi totoo yan. No? Ito yung mangyayari dyan, ito yung mangyayari dyan. So that's, that's the difference between the expert information and the wisdom of the crowd. Now, in your case, no? okay? Ano ba yung mas pinapaniwalaan natin? Would it be uh, the expert information or really are you are you relying on wisdom of the crowd? Minsan ganyan eh. Um, experts say, uh, let's say for example, in COVID-19 response, no? expert would say that na, na ang Omicron variant is ganito. Okay? Pero makikita mo sa Facebook, hindi naman totoo yan, ganyan. No? It's, it's controlling the media, mga ganyan. So, minsan, no? Ikaw, dahil sa sobrang dami ng post na nakikita mo doon, minsan naniniwala ka na. It's the wisdom of the crowd. No? Pero, hindi mo kilala kung sino yung mga nagpo-post na yon, and you have no idea on on whether kung totoo ba yung, yung, yung sinasabi nila or hindi. No? Okay? So, yan. No? So, that's the difference. Now, we have an example. Okay? Wikipedia. Okay, sino rito yung mga nakagamit na ng Wikipedia? Okay. Okay, marami na, no? Paki-raise yung hand ng mga nakagamit na at sino dito yung mga nagka-copy-paste sa Wikipedia? Paki-raise yung hand. Sir, not literally copy-pasting po. I think mm -hmm. like a paraphrase din po. Okay. So, sino rito yung mga gumagamit ng information in Wikipedia?
Okay, madami-dami, no? Okay? So, me, no? When I was in college, ginagamit ko yan. Kasi before, Google was not that really, ano, no? And then, uh, kapag ka nag-search ka kay Google, si Wikipedia yung unang-unang niya talagang binibigay. Now, Wikipedia is written by volunteers, no? Uh, it's it's like an open source website wherein kahit ikaw pwede mong i-edit yung content niya. Pwede kang magbura, pwede kang mag-delete, no? Pwede kang mag-add, no? So that's the power of Wikipedia. Pero, no? Uh, as as time goes by, no? Wikipedia was not really used na as a a a a, a reliable reference. Okay? Minsan hindi na siya nagiging reliable reference. Why? Because some of the spelling is incorrect, no? Some of the information is hindi totoo, okay? So, ang nangyayari, no? Hindi na siya consider as one of the, ano, no? Pero, no? Isa siya sa mga uh, knowledge of the crowd. Okay? So, yeah, no? So, Wikipedia says, we do not expect you to trust us. Okay? So, yeah. Because some articles may contain errors. Okay? So, not use Wikipedia to make critical decisions. Okay? So, si Wikipedia, no? Okay? Okay? So, hindi, hindi talaga siya ganun ka. Ano. Pero, basic knowledge, makikita mo doon, no? if you want to research on something, okay, and do not publish it, may makikita ka, may mapupulot ka in Wikipedia. Okay? So, wisdom of the crowd, again, no? So these are the problems relying on wisdom of the uh, wisdom of the crowd. So problem of unreliable information are not new, no? So vulnerable uh, viewers and okay, responsibilities of site operators. Yan yung mga ano nila, no? So problems arising on that, no? Okay? So syempre uh, if pag sinabi nating crowd, we are not referring to to one lang, di ba? So, madami yan. So, basically, no, hindi mo naman ma-verify ma isa-isa kung ano talaga yung mga background nila, whether they are expert or not. So, medyo mahirap. Okay? Okay? So, yon. Moving on. Tignan natin to. Yan, no? So, meron tayo dito nung 2018, no? Yan. So, meron ditong mga, uh, what do you call this? Survey, no? Survey, no? Uh, ng mga senatorial aspirant before, no? Yan. So, di ba, a year before pa lang, naglalabas na sila ng mga uh, survey, no? Dahil sa mga survey na to, trust me, no? Kung kayo, voter kayo, minsan, na, na ano kayo dito sa survey na to. Kumbaga na, na persuade kayo, uy, top one si ganito, boto ko na nga, mukhang maraming nagawa. Pero ikaw, halimbawa, tanungin ka, do you know Grace Poe? Kung ano-ano yung mga nagawa niya, no? So, hindi, hindi, hindi mo rin alam. So, minsan tayo, ang ginagawa natin is because, no? Madami yung taong pumupunta doon, okay? Or naniniwala doon, maniniwala na rin tayo. Okay? So, yan, no? So these are the issues that we have currently in the Philippines actually, no? Okay. Still evaluating information on the web pa rin tayo. Manipulation of images, no? Minsan, no? Okay? Uh, because of the manipulation of images, naniniwala din tayo. Now, can you give me some of the manipulation of images na medyo naniwala tayo before or nakikita natin in the internet or in, in different social media sites? Okay, type your answers. Two minutes. Manipulation of images na medyo parang kapanipaniwala. Fake news class suspension in Mabalakat City. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, madami, no? Madami. Madami tayong nakikita dyan. So, because of that, some, somewhat, no? Medyo naniniwala tayo na uh, 
because of that no napapaniwala tayo na these are these are true and correct okay uh, excuse me so faking photos is not new okay so hindi yan hindi na bago sa atin yan beforehand pa lang talagang okay even memes no ang daming memes fine fake nila yung photo no okay now isang way kung bakit marami nang lumalabas na ganyan because editing nowadays is made easy no so napaka napakadali na lang mag-edit okay Okay, so yeah, no faking faking people can do it because this this are easy, no? Napakadali na lang. Okay, so manipulation of images, example. Okay, ayan, no. Look at this, no. Ayan. Okay. Pero ito, no? Okay. Look at this. Ito talaga yung picture, but because of the different angle, no, nagkaroon ng manipulation, no? Mag, nagmukha siyang nag-dirty finger. Okay. So with that concept medyo, you know, no? With with different concepts just like that. Medyo mag-iiba na yung iip ng hangin minsan. Instead na ito ang ipo-post, no? Ito yung pinost. Okay? Alam niyo naman yung mga netizens, no? They would do a lot of, 'di ba? Okay, so 'yon, no? Now, writing, thinking and deciding. Okay, so let's let's have this. So new tools have displaced skills that were once important. So ano yung mga yan? Traditional painting and software used by graphic artists. So um, before, no, before yung mga graphic artists, they are they they or yung mga tinatawag nating ano uh, yung mga painter, no, they do painting, no, they do painting, pero because of the technology, no, nagkaroon na ng different ways on how are you going to paint, they do digital. Ganon din yung iba. No? So, yan yung sinasabi nating traditional painting goes to software by the different graphic artists. So, uh, it, it comes along with, with the innovation. No? Okay? So, uh, abdicating responsibility, now people willing to let computers do their thinking. Minsan, no? Even the judgment, okay? Binibigay na natin sa computer, no? Okay? Um, kaya meron tayo mga different systems that would support decisions. Ito yung mga decision support systems. Wherein, computations, different data will be gathered and input to that particular system and then the system would going to de devise a decision na pwede mong sundin. Okay? So those are those are provided with different mathematical computations, okay? So ganun din yung gina, ganun yung nangyayari nowadays, okay? So moving on. Now we have top 20 disappearing jobs based on forbes.com. Okay? Ayan, no? Ayan. Let's have this is workers between 2010 to 2020. So the difference is 10 years, no? Okay, saglit lang. Mag-screenshot lang ako ng ating... Ano? Uh, okay. Let me just save it. Okay. So going back, okay, number 1 yung pinaka disappearing job natin nowadays are farmers, no? Yan. Okay, according to the Forbes, okay? Okay, kasi you know, no? Dito lang sa Pilipinas ang farmers is mahirap. Other countries farmers are rich, no? Dito sa atin mahirap sila because they don't have uh uh soils to dig no kumbaga hindi sa kanila yon nakikiupa lang sila unlike other farmers in other countries no sa kanila yung mga lupa okay so yan no so this are the ano okay yan so disappearing jobs then ano pa computer app operator file clerks no di ba yan mga yan okay 
typists, no? data entry keyers. Ito mga to meron pa to eh. No? Meron kasing work wherein you're going to transcribe and then you know create and type, no? May mga ganyan pa rin naman. Pero they are disappearing. Okay? Okay, yan yung mga top 20. No, meron tayo mga tinatawag na virtual assistant because of this, no? Um, searching made easy and then tasks made easy, no? So, kilala natin si Alexa, si Siri, no? And si Google Assistant. Yan yung mga yan, no? So, uh, if, if, no? Minsan, meron tayong uh, even yung mga smartphone natin, they are embedded with with this different uh, types of virtual assistants, no? Okay? So, meron tayong mga different ano dito, like last December 2018, no? So, the company tested Amazon Alexa, Apple Siri, Google Assistant. Okay? Si Microsoft, meron tayong Cortana, no? Okay? So, against 800 questions to find out what su was superior. So, Diba? I-ask lang natin yan. Halimbawa, eh. uh, Google, hi Google, what's what's the temperature or, or what's the weather today? No? Sasabihin ni Google yan. So, as long as you are connected in the internet, lahat halos mabibigay ni ni, uh, ni virtual assistant mo. Parang nagtatanong ka sa secretary mo, tapos si secretary mo hindi na mag... kinukuha niya lahat ng sagot in, in the internet. Even your TV nowadays, so ganyan din sila. They are voice commanded, no? Sabihin, sasabihin mo lang, open YouTube, open this app, switch to this channel, gagawin niya. Okay? Yan, no? Now, computer models, uh, evaluating models. So, how well do the modelers understand the underlying science or theory? So, models necessarily involve assumptions and simplification of reality. How closely do the result or predictions correspond with the result from physical experiments or real experience? So, when we say computer models, kasi, um, they are really manifesting, uh, let's say, for example, hindi ito yung mga uh, big kasi pag kasi nabing computer models. Eh, no? um, you could do in. in uh, if we are familiar with SOLIDWORKS, no? uh, let's say, yung SOLIDWORKS kasi, they are computer-aided. No? They are computer-aided software wherein they compute something. No? They compute something. And they are considered as computer models. Halimbawa, um, meron akong chair. No? Imumodel ko siya in 3D. Pero in, in SOLIDWORKS, no? yung chair na yon, ang mangyayari is nakakapag-compute siya kung ilang kilo yung yung kayang i-absorb nung weight nung chair na yon so ganun ka powerful yung computer aided uh, softwares na mga yon na they could do computer models even yung mga gears ng ng uh, relos kaya nilang i-model so that's the power of solid work medyo mahal lang yung software pero yon maybe someday in the in the, once you've been in in an industry no Ma, 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 ma encounter nyo sa SOLIDWORKS, you'll have an idea kung, kung ano yung ibig ko sabihin with computer models. No? Meron tayo tinatawag na predictive modeling. No? Predictive modeling naman, ito yung mga analytics, yan yung mga machine learning, no? wherein uh, tinuturuan natin yung, yung program natin to identify this. Okay? Okay, so machine learning yon. Halimbawa, iti-train mo. Maybe uh, in your higher years, magkakaroon kayo na subject like this, no? especially computer sciences. No? Wherein, halimbawa, uh, your application would determine whether bangko yung isang object, pagka tinutuka mo, sasabihin niya, it's a chair. Okay? Regardless kung anong itsura niya, iti-train mo siya na maka-identify ng chair. And the training is not that easy, no? Matagal siya. Kasi halimbawa, isang chair, okay, the, the object chair, ilan bang chair meron, ilang klase ng chair, madami. Okay? So, those are predictive analytics and machine learning. Okay? Okay, naulit lang siya. Uh, 
Okay, so analytics professional used data from the following sources to feed predictive models. Yeah, so transaction data, okay, customer service, demographics, economics, no? Ito mga to, uh, uh, predictive, no? And uh, you have machine learning na pwede mong i-incorporate dito sa mga ganitong areas. Okay? Yan. So, web traffic, malalaman mo kung, kung kailan yung peak, kailan yung low. No? Survey, yan mga yan. Customer service, which are, let's say for example, malalaman mo which are, ano yung mga sales na mas okay, ano yung mas madalas na binibili ng ganitong month, those are predictive. No? Okay? Yan. So still in information knowledge and judgment tayo, nandun na tayo sa judgment side eh. No? Nandun na tayo sa judgment side. So analysts must, or must organize data to align with the model so computers can create forecasts and outputs. Okay, ito yung mga tinatawag nating mga, uh, yun nga, yung predictive, no? wherein they could forecast ano yung posible mangyari. Even, let's say, for example, in, in, in typhoons, di ba? They could forecast ano yung dadaanan ng typhoon because of the predictive. Okay? So, these are also the areas, no? In integrating predictive models. So, benchmark analysis, you have the data gathering, okay, data cleansing. So, di ba, nag-data gathering ka. Yung data cleansing, lilinisin mo kasi yon. Ano yung mga hindi kailangan, ano yung mga kailangan. Yung mga hindi kailangan, those are for, for trash. And then, yung mga kailangan, those are for to keep. No? Yung mga yan. So, yan. Then, down pipeline natin is a streamlining process. Okay? So, yung mga yan. So, hindi nyo naman kailangan sa ula, sa, uh, i, 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 sa ulo to or uh, i-memorize tong mga to. These are just for your knowledge to know. No? Uh, dinadaanan lang natin to because it's a part of our topic. No? In, in, in your higher years, maybe, there might be a probability na some of the topics which is uh, discussed today will be discussed pa in deeper way. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag na descriptive analytics and diagnostics. So, so descriptive analytics describes the data. Okay? So, halimbawa, no? a company sold 2,000 licenses in quarter 2 and 1,000 licenses in quarter 1. So, so yung descriptive would answer, yung analytics na yun would, would answer ilang, ilang, ilang licenses yung nasold in quarter 1 versus quarter 2. Ano yung difference? So, those are descriptive analyst, analytic. Now, diagnostics naman, um, why behind descriptive uh, analytics? So it's 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 the analyzation. Bakit ganun yung diferensya? Okay? Bakit ganun yung diferensya? Anong anong meron? Bakit? Ito yung difference. Meron 1,000 difference between sold quarter 1 versus quarter 2. Uh, so that is diagnostics analytics naman. Okay? So yan. So predictive naman. Okay? Predictive. What to do? Okay? Okay? Uh, uh, predictive means parang in quarter 3, makakasold tayo ng ganito. Okay? Those are predictive. No? You predict. No? Okay? In quarter, in third quarter natin, makaka, makakasold tayo ng additional 2,000. Okay? Now, prescriptive, no? okay? which is, ito naman is what to do for us to 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 meet the predictive model. Okay? Ano yung gagawin natin para makasold tayo ng 2,000? Okay? So, as you can see, yung, yung tatlong analytics, yung apat na analytics na yun, they are interconnected. No? Connected sila sa isa't isa. Okay? Lahat sila merong, merong ways on how are they going to do their part in the circle. Okay? Yan. Now, Maybe, no? Some models are not accurate. Bakit? Okay. Okay. So, maybe because we might not have complete knowledge of the system we are modeling. Okay. So, 
lack of information maybe no okay uh, computer computer power may be inadequate for the complexity of the model minsan no uh, did you know that for you to create a model or for you to train something nag nagre-require siya ng mataas na specification ng unit okay hindi yan basta meron ka lang computer and then you do it you calculate it hindi no kasi hindi siya ganun okay Okay, so minsan it is difficult, if not impossible, to numerically quantify variables. No, medyo masyado siyang complex. No, okay, so sometimes kaya yung models natin or yung graph presented to us or yung analysis natin is not that accurate. No, okay, yan. Now, meron tayong mga tinatawag na Limitation of the predictive modeling. So, meron tayong data labeling. No? So, in machine learning, in which computer is constructing the predictive model, data must be labeled and categorized appropriately. Okay? So, sometimes these are full, er uh, merong full of errors and generally colossal undertaking. Data labeling, halimbawa, yung sinabi ko kanina, example ko is chair. No? Okay, kung mali yung pagkakalabel natin, lahat lahat ng ma-identify niya mali na. Okay? Yan, no? Okay, so obtaining massive training data sets. Okay, masyado kang madaming kinuhang data set, data sets or training sets, no? <coughs> ano ba ibig sabihin na itong training sets or data sets na to? Ito yung Parang naka-Excel to eh. Ay, parang naka-Notepad to. Tapos parang CSV siya minsan. Okay, wherein it contains different line of scripts wherein ina-identify niya yung isang, isang, isang object, no? So, yan, no? Minsan, no? Ginagamit in data mining, no? In, in, in training, no? Ganyan. So, masyado kang madaming kinuha, okay? Masyado kang maraming kinuha. So, the problem is, magsasama-sama sila and then if you hindi mo siya na ayos ng uh, the, the organization of those data sets are not really that accurate okay you know you know what will happen no sasabog talaga siya okay yan so explainability problem as more complex and esoteric models and methodologies become available it will often be a great challenge to untangle models. Yeah, no? So, as it goes complex, no, mas mahirap siyang ipaliwanag. Okay? Minsan, ulitin mo na lang. No? <laughs> okay. So, yan. Generalizability of learning. So, refers to the ability of the model to be generalized from one use case to another. So, yeah, no? So, nagiging specific lang siya. Okay, hindi mo siya ma-generalize. Nagiging specific lang siya on that particular predictability. Okay? So, bias in data and algorithm. Yan. Minsan, philosophically, gusto mo, ito lang algorithm na to. Bias ka na. Ito lang algorithm yung gagamitin mo kasi you are really familiar with this algorithm. Okay? So, yun yung nagiging problem then. Why some data models fails, no? So, ito, no, usually yung mga activities natin is included in the PowerPoint presentation kung ano yung mga discussion questions lang natin. Okay? So, napakadali lang nung ano natin, no, question natin. How do we evaluate reliability of the information you find on the web? Ayan, no? Nandito na alis yung answers nyo. No? Okay? So, yan, no? Okay. So, let's continue. Okay. So, medyo enough na tayo sa medyo scientific na explanation and scientific topics with that. No? Let's move on with how to spot a fake or scam website. Okay? Now, kahit naman hindi ko to explain no? Okay? Alam na natin to. Now, can you give me how to spot a fake website or a scam website? Pakitype yung answers nyo. Two minutes.
Okay. Sites may not be secured and safe. Okay. So, many ads appearing. So, those are correct. No? Lahat naman yun. Commonly websites without S or security. HTTPS. So, yan mga yan. Okay. So, madami. No? So, just, 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 just drop your answers from the chat box. Okay. So, let's continue. No? So, pay attention to the address bar. Yan. So, yan. May nakapagsabi kanina. No? So, ito. No? Uh, saan ang aking cursor? Hindi ko siya makita. Yun. Ayan, no? Ito. No? Pay attention to that. No? The S in HTTPS stands for secure. So, kung HTTP lang yan, okay? No S, okay? Doesn't guarantee you that you are safe. Okay? Check the domain name, no? Whether you are correct. No? Minsan kasi, halimbawa, ganito yung na-type natin, yahoo.com. Okay, pero parehas na parehas. Okay, nag-login ka, yun na. Okay, tapos ito, kagaya nyan, Amazon. Especially Facebook, BDO, yung mga, you know, websites such, mga ganun, no? Okay, look at the domain age. Okay. Okay, so, yan, merong... Who is, no? Look up domain tracker would help you yung domain age. Okay? Also, watch for poor grammar and spelling, no? Medyo yun. Um, tignan nyo yung website, whether correct yung spelling nung address bar or hindi. No? Minsan parehas lilitaw yan. Eh. Labawa, Facebook, no? Pero Facebook talaga yung inaano mo. Pero parehas na parehas. Eh. Tapos nag-login ka, pero hindi ka makapag-push through dun sa login mo. Okay? So, there might be a probability na those are scam or fake. No? Okay. Look for reliable contact information. And, no? Okay. So, are the, uh, is, is the contact information legit? No? Okay. So, use only secure payment options. No? Especially, halimbawa, bumibili kayo online, nilalagay natin yung mga credit card natin or debit card natin. So, make sure that those are secure. Okay. And Okay, walk away from deals that are too good to be true. Halimbawa, nanalo ka ng cellphone, click me, no? Okay, you you are selected to be a winner of 1 million, click me. Okay, so yeah, no? So always also run a virus scan. Okay, mag virus scan every now and then. Okay? Okay, do your res research beforehand. Okay? Be proactive about protecting your information. Wag na lang basta-basta idadrop yung, you know, email address mo, name mo. Okay? Wag na lang natin basta-basta idadrop, no? Make sure to be proactive protecting your basic information and your identity. Okay? Kasi kahit uh, basic information lang yan, pwede na nilang makuha yung accounts nyo, different accounts nyo. Especially if you have mobile numbers. Now, computers and community. Okay, so it is human nature to form association based on common interest. No? Okay, so yung iba, natatakot sa technology. Okay. Uh, sometimes, computers are being blamed for the decline in community involvement. No? Uh, diba? Totoo naman yan. No? Minsan, dati, nakakapaglaro kayo sa labas. Now, because of Computers, hindi na. No? Hindi ka na masyado nakikipag-associate. No? Ganyan na. Ginagawa mo, nakaharap ka na lang sa computer. So, yan. Okay? So, yung impact ni computer in your community. So, pero hindi naman lahat negative. Eh. So, internet brings people together from all over the world. Di ba? Ito naman. So, because of the email, okay? Because of the email, no? Uh... Libre nang nakakapag-mail tayo dati, di ba? Dinidilaan nyo pa yung, hindi ko alam kung naabutan nyo pa eh, yung mga envelopes, no? Tapos sinesend sa ano, then merong mailman, no? Yung mga ganon. So, maybe yung mga parents nyo naabutan nila yun. Okay? So, social networking, Facebook, yung mga yan, no? Yan. Okay? Yung mga yan. So, new trends includes, no? Yung mga yan. So, so how convincing is the... Argument that electronic commerce threatens malls, community, 
business and health or small communities. Do you think the community... Itong mga to, uh, titignan ko lang kung ano yung mga isasama ko dito. No? So, some hindi naman lahat minsan. Minsan, dalawang question, apat na question lang yung kasama. Okay, so ito yung term natin kanina, yung digital divide. Ano ba to? Okay, digital divide is the term that refers to gap between demographics and regions that have access to modern information and communication technology. And those don't have or restricted access. This technology can include telephone, television, personal computers, and even internet. So digital divide means, anong, anong ibig sabihin? Okay? Digital divide means the division between digital. Halimbawa, no? In Mindanao, no? Mabilis ba internet connection nila versus sa Region 3 in Pampanga? Okay? Those are digital divide. Minsan, halimbawa, sa, sa, sa dulo ng Pampanga, walang uh, fiber, no? Fiber connection, fiber optics, coaxial gamit nila. Pero dito, in Angeles, meron. Okay? Those are digital divide. Uh, how... How how sufficient is the restriction? Uh, uh, how sufficient is the source? And how restricted is the source on the particular area? That is the digital divide. Okay? So, yan. No? So, trends in computer access. Okay, new technologies only available to the wealthy. Do you agree? Yes or no? Okay, typing answers. Ito ba yan? New technologies only available to the wealthy. Okay. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay. Correct naman, no? Pero some, no? Some. Okay. So, uh, let, let's say for example, no? New technology of, or, or new, new model of iPhone. Of course, they are for wealthy kasi mahal ang mga iPhone eh. Okay. Yung mga ganon. It is embedded with new technology. Pero, yan, case-to-case -case basis, hindi naman lahat. No? Okay? So, yan, no? It is still on the digital divide. No? Okay? So, case-to-case -case basis pa rin to. Okay? Global divide at the next billion users. So, approximately 1 billion people worldwide have access to the web. Five billions do not have. Okay, so this is this is correct, naman. So hindi naman lahat talaga may access. Nakikita nyo naman yan. Um, uh, when you were in in the document, different documentaries, na sino showcase nila yung mga module module, no? Some na no, umaket pa sa tuktok ng bundok just to you know have access in the internet, no? Yung mga ganon. Those are digital divide, no? Okay, so sinasummarize lang natin itong mga to. Okay. So, next computer massive, uh, computer cost massive unemployment, no? Uh, benefit big business and the government, do little or nothing to solve real problems, no? Yung mga yan. So, uh, ito, computer cost, uh, uh, ito, computer cost massive unemployment, I don't think so, no? Medyo, that ito. Pero nowadays, hindi na siya. No? It creates more more employment. No? Kasi we are in digital age na. So most of us, if you have, if you are really into computer, meaning you have the edge over the others. No? Uh, it's up to you whether to update or not to update. Okay? Yan. So accomplishment of technology. So prices of food are down. No? Real buying power up. No? Uh, yan yung mga, mga accomplishments of technology. Okay? Pero prices of foods are down. Medyo, yan, medyo hindi na to updated. No? You know, uh, currently, di ba? Prices are up and up. Inflations are up and up. So, yan. It doesn't to do with computer technology anymore. No? It's in the economy. Okay? So, next is um, making decisions about technology. The difficulty of prediction, each technology finds new and unexpected uses. So, the history of technology is full, wildly wrong prediction. So, uh, may pumapasok pa. Okay. Yan, no? 
So, because of the new technology, no? uh, basis of unexpected uses are, are there. No? Okay. It, it differs on the decision also. Okay? So, sometimes mistaken expectation of the cost and benefits. No? Okay? So, minsan, nag-acquire tayo ng technology pero hindi naman natin kailangan. So, those are wrong decisions with regards of technology. Okay? Okay. Intelligent machines and super intelligence. Okay? So, humans or end of the human race? Yan yung mga, ano, diba? Dati nagkaroon ng uh, uh, issue we're in Sabi, papalitan na daw ng mga artificial robots or artificial intelligence yung mga call center agents. So, hindi naman pala. Okay? So, yung mga ganun, fake news. Those are fake news, no? Okay? Uh, so, yung mga ganun, no? Okay? So, yan, no? Technological singularity. Okay? Point at which artificial intelligence or some combined human Intelligence advances so far and we cannot comprehend that lies on the other side. So, hindi natin ma-explain on how are they uh, uh, on how are they learning, no? Pero nakikita natin yung result. Okay? So, yan. So, yan. So, this is the discussion. So, if, so if you could decide what technology should be developed, what would you develop and why? So, does the pro prospect of super intelligent robots scare you? So, ito yung mga sasagutin natin. Itong dalawa, kasama to dun sa activity natin na sasagutin. And the one at the middle. Okay? So, um, that ends our topic for today. No? Uh, Naka-isang uh, module na rin tayo. And then, following next week is the last module. And then, you'll have your final examination. Okay? So I'll be posting the recorded later on, no? Maybe tomorrow I'll be posted the recording and then the activity will follow also either uh tomorrow, no? Tomorrow, no? Uh I'll be I'll, I'll be uh asking you to answer a particular number of slide dito sa presentation natin. And then you submit it, okay? You type your answers in Microsoft Word and then submit it, upload it in our MS Teams. Okay, so that's it. This is our module uh, six, and I hope you guys learned something from this. No, okay. So, any questions so far with our topic? If wala, paki type none. Para malaman ko who are still present on. Okay, let me get final screenshot. Okay. So, kung wala ng question, no? And lahat is uh, wala ng clarification. So, I'll be ending you guys. I'll be ending the meeting now. And you are free to leave. Okay, right, thank you for attending our class and have a good night. Good day, sir.